What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we got ourselves an absolute banger of a squad. Today, we are rocking out with a quadruple genie team. A team that features Landorus, Tornadus, Thunders, and the brand new genie Pokemon, Enamorous. All four on the same team. Hope we get to rock out with this team, grab you guys some wins. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, Click that big red subscribe button. Join the Jeans community to stay up to date on all of my content. But the first Pokemon for today's team preview is going to be a non-genie Pokemon. It is going to be Reggie Draco with Dragon Small and a Choice Spec as item. It's got Dragon Energy, Draco Meteor, Terra Blast, and Earth Power. Second Pokemon is going to be our first out of the four genies. It is going to be Landorus over here with Intimidate and a Choice Scarf to make this Pokemon outspeed most Pokemon. It's got EQ, Stomping Catch Up, Rock Slide, and U-Turn. Love this moveset, and I love the item choice for this Pokemon. Considering it has Intimidate, we can outspeed with Choice Scarf, U-Turn out, and always get off another Intimidate from there. We got Thunderous in our second slot, and this Thunderous is made for nice little support. So two of them... Well, I should say two of the genies are made for attacking, and two of them are made for support. Thunder's got Prankster with the Citrus Berry, Wild Bolt Storm, Eerie Impulse for special attack drop, Scary Face for speed drops, then it has Taunt to Taunt opposing support Pokemon. Fourth Pokemon is going to be the third genie. It is going to be Tornadus with Prankster and the Focus Sash as item. It's got Bleak Wind Storm, Icy Wind for speed control, Tail Wind for even more speed control, and then Protect for its fourth and final move. Fifth Pokemon is the fourth and final genie, the newest genie, Enamorous, with Contrary and the Pixie Plate as its item. It's got Springtide Storm, Draining Kiss, Super Power to work really, really well with that Contrary ability, and Protect for its final move. Final Pokemon is another support Pokemon, so we're going to be really relying on a lot of our support Pokemon to help out our physical and special attackers to work, because we got three support Pokemon, but final Pokemon is Grimstone with Prankster and the Iron Ball. It has Fake Out, Trick, Fake Tears and Parting Shot. So pair up the Scrimstarl with Enamorous or Veggie Draco. You can fake tears and have this thing do crazy damage. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this quadruple genie team. First match is on its way, and we're going up against one of the best Trick Room teams in Regulation D. Indeedy, Armroos, Ursa Luna, Hisui and Lilligan to pair up with Torkoal, and then last but not least, Hatterene. How should I play this one? How should I get after it? I feel like Grimmsnarl could be okay here. I mean, it has that Iron Ball, but do I really want it? Not really. It's kind of just there for Fake Out and for uh, Prankster stuff. So I don't know if I really want it. I'm not sure if I really want it. I could go into a Pokemon more so like you, or I could end up leading a Pokemon maybe like Reggie Draco with the Choice Specs, which would not be bad. 100 speed. It's not terrible. Plus, it can do some big time damage alongside with that. So I could go in with Reggie Draco for a lead. Enamorous could be solid. We need our attackers, so... We have a little bit of a problem with Trick Room coming out here. Trick Room is just a problem. Because I think Indeedy is going to be led with anybody. So, Prankster is going to be tough for us, right? It's definitely going to be tough. Hmm. Who do I want to go here? I could maybe just go you. Intimidate. Could try that out. Could definitely try that out. And I could lead it with Enamorous. Start bulking defense? I mean, that's not bad. I'm going to go Enamorous. And I think I might just go Reggie Draco. I'm going to go Reggie Draco. We'll give that a try. And then we'll bring Landorus in the back end. And last but not least, I'm leaning towards you. And I got three seconds left. I got to lock it in and lock it down. I got it. I'm pretty sure I got it. I heard the click button. I'm pretty sure I got it. I had three seconds left when I was looking at Tornadus' stats. And I was like, nah, yo, we got to back out right now. Put this team down and get after it. So hopefully we locked it in. I'm almost positive we did. We should be able to rip it up here and try to grab ourselves a win. But it's going to be tough. It is definitely going to be tough. I am scared if they want to lead Logan Turkle. That is a problem for this team. But I'm just saying they don't, right? Correct? They do. Of course, of course, of course. Wouldn't it be a Jeans video if they, if our opponent wasn't doing the total opposite of what we wanted them to do? So I go into here. Um, Huh. Springtide Storm. We have Super Power. I could tear it in a fairy. I don't want to, though. I might just protect. And I think I am going to protect. And I think... I am just going to rip into an Earth Power. What does more damage? Earth Power or Draco Meteor? That's like Draco Meteor stab. It gets that big time boost. It's a big time boost. But Earth Power. It's just, it's consistently hitting. I'm going to send Earth Power over on the Torkoal as I protect. So we'll see what they want to do here. They're going to Terrasilize. Logan Terrasilize or Torkoal? Probably Torkoal, which is terrifying, right? Yeah, it's terrifying. We don't like this. We don't like it at all. Logan's probably sashed up here too. 
So it's gonna be an after you big time fire play here, which is just oh my lord. We have all these pranks for Pokemon, but nobody but Rain Dance would have been lovely to have. After you comes out here, I'm hoping maybe Reggie Draco can eat this up. It does have like 270 HP, which is pretty high. So that's what I'm kind of hoping here. Right. Let's go, Draco. All day, baby. All day. All day. Cool. So Draco's able to eat up. Earth Power is going to fly here. Chip up some. Oh, more than enough damage. Cool. I'm thriving with that. I like that. I like that. More than enough damage. Good thing I choice it in that. And we get rid of him. That's, that's, a, that's a nice little play for us. It's a nice, lovely play. So Lilligan just has fighting moves and grass moves. So Enamorous is a nice typing to kind of just like beat up on that. I think they now, now go into a Pokemon that can set up a Trick Room and they try to play for the late game, right? Makes the most sense, but yo, good start from us. Good start from us. I knew that would be a problem, but I did not know Reggie Draco could KO from there. So out comes Indeed. Um, yeah, I feel as I just throw a Springtide Storm out here, right? I'm choosing Earth Power, so I might as well send it. Um, Indeedee's definitely looking to pop a Trick Room. Which, I mean, that's fine. I could go for Draining Kiss if I want to. I really want to go for Super Power, but Springtide Storm's going to be a play. I'm going to Springtide Storm. I am going to go into that Earth Power, into the Logan slot, because it is Sashed. And he's just going to close combat me and KO me. That's fine. The close combat comes out here. Defense is going to get dropped. Trick Room is going to come out here. And from here... Um, we're going to Lando this next turn. What do I do? The Springtide Storm's coming out here. We're sashing up. I'm kind of not worried about Logan too much, right? I think I leave Logan on the field here, and I just try to do damage on the Indeedee, right? That would make the most sense. Because Logan's going to be minus one on defense if I pull this out. If I pull out you. I mean, not defense, attack. And I can kind of just U-turn pivot out again. And kind of intimidate for later because chances are they got Ursula in it back in, right? It's got to be Ursula. In it. So I'd love to intimidate and just turn out here and then kind of go from there. Then I can always go into you. I can always taunt. I can always scary face. I mean, we're going to need Lando. We're definitely going to need Lando. And we're going to need uh, Enamorous. So yeah, I think we, we intimidate and then we U turn pivot. And then we just superpower into Ndidi just for that defensive boost. I, I really want that this boost. I'm going to go superpower here. I am going to U-turn out of here. And I'm just going to leave Logan alone here. I'm going to let Logan do its thing. And kind of go from there. Might even swap. You never know. But we're just going to let Logan do its thing. So Dazzle Gleam's going to fly here. We soak rather well. Superpower is going to come out here. Chunking up some nice damage. And we're getting that attack yet defensive boost at the same time. Which is big time. So now I'm going to U-turn before Logan can even go. We're going to get ready in DD. And now I'm going to swap into... And now I'm going to swap into, uh, what's his name? I don't even know his name. Thunders, the other genie. The chance are he's probably going for, like, a Solar Blade. I mean, that's fine. Solar Blade or Close Combat. I don't really care. He's minus one. And if it is Ursa Luna, I might just hard swap back into Landorus. But if it's a special attacker like Hatterene, I'm just going to hear the impulse. The Solar Blade's going to fly here. Probably going after my Thunder slot, which is now not very effective. Very, very cool. And it's not going to do too much damage here. Awesome. Awesome. So anybody but Ursuline, I'm kind of hoping, right? Ursuline is a problem, but we know it's going to be Ursuline. Yeah, it's Ursuline. Cool. Again, everything. it's not a Jeans video if everything doesn't go the opposite way that I want it to go. So from here, um, they don't have Terror, so Superpower is going to be a big time friend for us. I could actually just scary face myself, right? That make me slower. Do I go in with this typing? But I stay part flying. I mean, I think I just stay this typing. So I'm going to do this, and... I'm just going to scary face Enamorous. Actually, that'll boost my speed. Ah! Oh, that boosts my speed. I could boost my special attack. That's a physical attack and move. Oh, dude, this is ugly. I do not know what to do. I'll go for a Wobbled Storm. Just try to get rid of Logan at this point. So, Ursuline is going to end up protecting. Okay, I feel you. I understand. And now would have been a good turn to swap. Now would have been a perfect turn to swap. I should have swapped him to Lando. Should have definitely swapped. Can we kill a Logan here? Can we just land this on Logan, please? Please, thank you. Come on, man. 
Don't do me like that. Sleep powder can come out here. We do dodge that. That's big time. And now we gotta see how many turns are left in Trick Room, right? This Trick Room is an issue. So we have two turns left in Trick Room. Um, I am still gonna throw this one in that slot, and I'm just gonna go for a Wobble Storm. I'll save my Protect, because I think that Enamorous might be able to eat up a shot. Probably not, right? Oh, we do eat up a shot. That's big time. That's a big time eat up. That defense boost was huge. So now that we ate up a shot there, if I can land this Wild Bolt Storm, we'll be thriving. Can you just land it onto the little Ganth? You just gotta take it out. You take it out, we pretty much win this game. My dude, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh my lord, that hurts, man. 0 for 2? 0 for 2? Now you're slumped? Now you are slumped? It's okay, I can now protect here. That hurts, man. That hurts. I can now protect, and I'll just go for another Wild Bolt Storm. We're 0 for 2. Just need to land one of those. 0 for 2. That hurts. That really hurts. We still got our boy in the back end. Trick Room's going to end after this turn. He can't reset it, which is big time. I got Lando. Lando can end out speed. I think we pretty much win this match, right? I think we win this match regardless because of Lando in the back end. But still, 0 for 2 is just not cool. It's not cool. But the four genies get worked on here. Getting work done. We used three of them. We didn't use uh, Tornadus, which is the most used one, which is kind of funny that we didn't use them, but still. Over two? Come on, man. You're better than that. Close combat's going to fly here. We're going to be able to eat that up all day. This thing's defense is so low. That's why I just wasn't worried about it. I was worried about Ursaluna. But Ursaluna's going to take some burn damage, and now from here, is Logan slower i think it i don't know but i have eq like, like i said we should we should win this one no problem i'm gonna go into a superpower here and i'm just gonna drop a nice wild bolt storm chance is gonna miss he's gonna go for an air for you and actually that's kind of smart but we're thriving here. facade's gonna come out here can we land this one or we gotta wake up first we gotta wake up can you wake up here Nah, yo, we're still slumped. Oh my lord, oh my lord. Like I said, we are thriving here. We got the choice scarf on our Lando. He's gonna be able to outspeed everybody. I can pop an EQ. EQ will finish off this match. It's making my life harder. This game just, just makes my life harder, man. <laughs> Missing attacks, not waking up. It's just an ugly sight. So I'm gonna pop the EQ. I'm gonna go for a Wild Bolt Storm. Let's get after it. And that should be game set match. Cool. Awesome. Dope. Thank you, Lando, for having a move that always lands. I don't have to worry about it missing. But there it is. 1-0. Long drawn out first match. We took out one of the best Trick Room teams with this 4 Genie team. Let's hop into our second match. Let's go back to back. Great start for your boy. Rocking out match number one. Killed it. Grabbed ourselves a win. We're hopping into our second match. We're going up against a team that I would see more so in series three regulation c whatever you call it i forget even what i called it but chen pao arcanine palafin and dragonite all four of those pokemon went together perfectly in the last season they also have sylveon they got amoongus let's do this let's get after it. i am scared of the first turn priority like it's a powerhouse of first turn priority we could definitely lose this one because again shen pao is going to do work same thing with dragonite and palafin and arcanine all around them but who should i go into here i could go into Enamorous, who's not bad here. I don't mind Enamorous. Might want to lead it, especially if they go and intimidate. We could just get a free attack boost from there. Kind of roll out strong. Um, speed, eh, it's going to be okay. I mean, it's not going to be nothing crazy. Considering they're just going to be rocking out with first and priority. So do I really want to go into speed? Maybe not. I could go into you. I could go into you. I think intimidate's going to be a good lead for us. So I'm going to go intimidate as your lead with uh, Lando. And then as back end or second Pokemon, I think I'm gonna go into you. So I can take items, I can start fake tiering. And I can really rip into it. I get down with that. And then I'll go Enamorous and last but not least, you know, we're gonna go in with our attackers. We need attackers on the field. Let's go in with it. Cause first turn priority, it's a problem. It's a problem. I don't know how I'm gonna deal with this one. This might be, might be a rough one for us. <laughs> you guys, you guys already know the deal when, uh, when you see other teams and you're not liking it, you're like, oh, this one's going I this one's gonna be a rough one. That's how I feel right now. I feel right right in my stomach. I'm like, oh, first turn priority doing me dirty. Especially with Palafin, I feel like they're gonna lead the Dolphin, swap him out. No, Amoogus Sylveon. 
I don't mind. I don't mind. Um, from here, I'm going to U-turn out, I think. I think U-turn should be my best friend. And I could fake out. I think I might fake out the moves. But I'm thinking it's just U-turn in there. And do I just trick Sylveon and maybe just give it the Iron Ball? Instead of having it with a Throat Spray? I mean, I could fake out turn one. Actually, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna you turn out and we're just gonna fake out Sylveon. I can always trick a party shot later, so fake outs can come out here. Hopefully, the movie goes for like Rage Pad or something. But now he's gonna put somebody to sleep. Probably the Slander Slap, which kind of hurts his soul. So, who do I go into from here? Oh, you mm. You're going to sleep, Enamorous. I hope you knew that. Maybe should have faked out the Moogus. But Enamorous is going to go to sleep here. Sylveon's going to get flinched. We'll see what he wants to do here. No, she's going to Palm Pump. Okay. That's fine. So I pretty much just swapped my Pokemon. I can hand off the Iron Ball now, which would be lovely. Um, this is our fake here. I have options. I think I am gonna fake tears. You go for rage powder, you go for rage powder, it's not a big deal, but I'm gonna fake tears here. I'm gonna hope Enamorous can get some big time damage off here. Springtide Storm coming out here. That's some big time damage, we like that. So another Springtide Storm will KO. Um, I could take Amoongus' item, which I think I'm gonna do next turn. Oh my lord. Why? Why did that do so much? I get it on the Grimmsnarl, but the crit really doing me like that? Ow! What is that about? It's not cool at all. That is not cool. What's your speed, Draco? You're only 100. I mean, we could Terrastalize you, which might be replaying a straight steel. And then just Dragon Energy. Yeah, wow. That was not cool at all. Why did that KO my Namorous like that? That absolutely dumped on it. Let me see your stats, Enamorous. No, I don't want to run. I want to see Enamorous' stats. <laughs> Yo, what was that about? He says defense 101. The crit really doomed me like that. God <laughs> dang. Maybe I should have Terrastalized. No, I wouldn't have done anything. So from here, I'm going to Terrastalize you. And... Ah, oh, what do I choice into here? I mean, I think I just choice into Dragon Energy. No, we can't. We're going to choice to our Steel move. Because chances are they have what's it called here as well. Chances are they have uh, Shen Pao here. So Steel could be very good on that. We learned this. We still have a Choice Scarf, which is lovely. But we already know it's Dragonite Shen Pao in the back end. Or maybe Intimidate Arcanine. Just one or the other is a pain. I think it's Dragonite Shen Pao. And just that in the back end is a problem. It really is a problem. The Mugus goes for the Rage Powder. You son of a biscuit. Don't it really do me like that? That's kind of why I went to go for a Dragon Energy, but... It's all good. The Hyper Voice flies. Can do some nice damage to Reggie Draco. This thing's hitting like a truck. This thing might be Choice Spec. No, it's not because it protected, didn't it? No, it didn't protect. It's just been Hyper Voice and we faked it out one time. That thing might be Choice Spec. I'm starting to think it is Choice Spec. And of course, the is able to eat up. Do not put me to sleep. Do not be that person. Actually, you're already Rage Powder. So that comes out here. Um, Okay. That's fine. We got to go into Lando now. And I got a choice into something here. And the problem is, is it going to be Dragonite? And if it is Dragonite, we got a choice into Rock Slide here. Looks like we have to go into Rock Slide. I'm going to do that, and I'm going to choice in the rock slide, just in case it's Dragonite. It's a must. It's an absolute must. Yeah, I think this Sylveon's choice. I really do. He's going to end up withdrawing Sylveon. He's going to go into... You're going to save the Sylveon, which is kind of weird. You're going to go into Dragonite. It's a good thing we are rock slizzling. Show me a Rage Powder. No, Moogus just going to protect. Okay, so we're doubling down into this slot. Pretty good for us. Can we at least land this on the Dragonite, please? Don't let me miss a rock slide here. Thank you. I was going to say, we missed a lot of moves in the last one. So we get rid of multi scale, which is pretty big. Terrible is going to fly in the Dragonite slot. 
And then we'll do some nice damage. That's some lovely damage. So Rock Slide will KO. Plus for choice. I don't understand that swap, but I'm not going to complain about it, right? I'm not going to sit here and complain about it. So I'm going to go into Rock Slide here. We picked great choicing of moves. Um, the choice scarf is huge. And I believe, I 100% I, I, I believe that Sylveon was choice. That's maybe why it swapped. Now that I think about it. But if that was a bad swap, they could have just stayed in there and just have Dragonite at full HP next turn. When it probably comes in here with Shen Pao. But Rockside's gonna land here. Get rid of Dragonite. Reggie Draco outspeeds Amoongus? We got, we got a game here. We got a game. I like this. I like this. Now we got a match. Now we have a match. Okay, so I think it went to swap to get Mystical Fire going, right? Chances are that's probably what it wants to do. And now what I want to do is, do I want to double down on the Shen Pao? Because we know it's Shen Pao. We know Shen Pao is the final Pokemon. Sylveon's going to come out here. We're kind of hoping Rockside could just KO. Because we will outspeed Shen Pao, at least this turn. Unless it goes for a Sucker Punch, but we can eat up at least one Sucker Punch. But that's the thing, Rockside should be able to KO now with Shen Pao on the field. Right, what's your speed at? 138 with Scarf? Come on, man, that's too easy. But yeah, I'm gonna terrible. I'm gonna double down in the Shen Pao, because again, I think. Actually. Actually, oh man, this is tough. We know Sylveon's choice. I'm gonna terrible into you just in case. Just in case it works. So I'm gonna go Rock Slide, because we know it's gonna go first. So if it can KO Sylveon, that's big time. But they still have Terror. What do, what do you tar terrestrialize in here? Shen Pao into what? Ghost? A little ice action. You're looking to just ice up. I mean, Rock's still gonna be super effective, which is big time. Uh, same thing with, uh... Yeah. Big time damage. We get rid of Sylveon. That's big time. That just won us a match. That just won us a match. Because you're gonna go after Lando with Ice Spinner. We already know that. And we flinch you anyway. But yo, what a second match. 2-0 with the four quadruple genie team. I wasn't expecting to do this well with this team. Taking out some strong, strong teams. But I think our opponent had a real good shot at us until they swapped out that Sylveon. That play right there put Dragonite out to die. It died out and we grabbed ourselves the upper hand and the victory. Third and final match coming at you guys. And let's just have some fun with it. We're 2-0. Already grabbed ourselves a winning record. And we're killing it right now. We're going up against Urshifu, Rillaboom, Screamtail, Zapdos, Cleavor, and last but not least, Heatran. Should I go all four genies? Give that a spin? I think that could be pretty cool. I don't mind it. I kind of want to do it. You know, let's do it. Let's do it. We'll, we'll go, uh, we'll go <laughs> these two genies. We'll go Lando, Tornadus, and then we'll go Enamorous and uh, Thundo in the back end. I like it. I don't even really care about this battle. We already have ourselves a winning record. Hopefully, you guys just enjoy this third and final battle and have some fun with it. Because if we win this match with these guys, that'd be awesome. Because I didn't even, like, I didn't even really, like, even look thoroughly through the opponent's team. I just read the names and I was just like, okay, okay, let's just try this out. Like, screw it. <laughs> like, the other matches, I was at least, like, analyzing things. But this one, I want to try. I want to try to have some fun. This is not looking good. We brought all flying types to a rock and thunder battle. Tim and Nate will help us out here. I like it. I can get down with that. Um, and from here, uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. I could Icy Wind, could Tailwind. Uh, we don't really need a Tailwind. I think Icy Wind's going to be good for us. Could Terrasalize into Flying, but what's that really going to do? I'm just going to Icy Wind. I think I'm just going to pop a Rock Slizzle, right? Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm all about it. Rock Slide's going to... Who's it missing? Chill on me, man. Who you landing on, though? Land on Cleaver, which kind of hurts. I wish he would have landed on Zapdos. But we'll be able to Icy Wind, chuck up some nice damage. And somebody's dying here. Maybe both of you guys might be dying. Not too sure. Let's we'll see how this one plays out here. Tailwind comes out from the bird. I'll just Tailwind next turn. And I'll pop a Rock Slide. And Cleaver Flinch is cool. The genies are getting after it. So you, we'll go Tailwind now. And then I'll just stick with the Rock Slides. I think now they Terrastalize the bird, correct? It makes the most sense to. But no, they do not. Now we tailwind, match their energy. Lando is now faster. Rock slide flying. Chunking up damage. KO in the cleaver. Give me a flinch on the Zapdos. Give me a flinch. We get a crit. Ooh, we'll take it. Game's rewarding us for having some fun here. Give me a flinch. Nope, hurricane lands, but still, we're, we soak that. Wow, they get a crit. Okay, I guess, uh, I guess the game's giving it back. Pokey guys are like, you get a crit, and then you get a crit right away. They're like, we're going to even the playing field out here. That's fine. 
That's fine. Just as long as you don't bring out anybody with first turn priority, which probably Robum comes out here, correct? Really, Brilla? No, oh, jump luff. Jump luff. <laughs> Jigglypuff. <laughs> Screamtail. Photosynthesis is going to boost. Defense boost. Speed boost. That's fine. I shall AC win you. Actually, I'm going to outspeed you regardless. I think I might just AC win it just for later purposes. But I have the choice scarf. We're going to be able to outspeed. And. Ma'am. 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 You're outspeeding me? Ma'am. That hurts, man. That really does hurt. You're gonna disable my rock slizzle. And my icy wind doesn't KO. Hurting. Souls are hurting. Let's see, are they just gonna take out Lando? Uh, nope, they're gonna take out Thundo. Or well, not Thundo. <gasps> my Sash? Or is that free? I am Sash. Why didn't I know I was Sash? I don't know. I guess because I haven't used him the whole game. But from here, I'll go icy wind and. I can't. Oh, I hit battle. I was gonna check if I can. And I really want to just like swap at that point then, because then I could have got rid of Disable. But Lando's going to struggle out here and he's going to die. That's just uh, terrible. It wouldn't even like... Oh, that's so that's so lame. That is so lame. It wouldn't even be like, hey, your move's disabled. Swap your Pokemon. I struggle now and I die. I could have just easily swapped and saved Intimidate for later. But no. But no. But no. Icy Wind now comes out here. Chunk us up some damage. We get the speed drop in both of them. And I think I just bring out Enamorous, right? Rock Team's gonna fly, kill me. Well, yeah, I gotta bring out Enamorous now. And they're gonna Terrasize Urshfu. Urshfu's gonna be the one they Terrasize. And I mean, I could just go for a. Well, I Wild Bolt Storm and Springtide Storm, right? I could double down because if he doesn't terrestrialize, then Enamorous gonna do some big time damage. But if he does, then Wobble's gonna do some big time damage. So I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. So I'm gonna double down, Springtide Storm, and Wobble Storm. Quadruple Genies getting after it. We like it. We like it. I saw a Terra. I should have terrestrialized Enamorous here. I really should have, but uh, we're chilling. We have speed. We definitely have speed now because we icy wind down the, the Scream Tail. But it really just like struggled me and KO'd me. I could have swapped them. I wanted to hit battle just to see. Just to see. I was testing for science. <laughs> and then it does that. It's just like, oh, you're going to kill your uh, Lando now. Like, thanks a lot, game. Cool. But the four genies hanging around here. I like using them. Having a lot of fun. And he's going to detect. That's why I should have Terrasalize. Now he's disabled to move. He gets to pick and choose. And I hope he does it to the Enamorous. But we'll see what happens here. Of course, they're dodging attacks left and right. I can't, like, Lando. Oh, that's Thundo. Thundo is 0 for 3 today on Wild Bolt Storms. You guys seen it here firsthand. It's ugly. It's brutal out here. Rock Team's gonna fly here. I'm soaking up. That is gonna drop my speed. It is gonna. Oh, no, it's actually gonna boost my speed. Contrary, thank you very much. <laughs> we love it. But from here, I'm gonna Terrasalize. I'm gonna Terrasalize the Springtide Storm. And then maybe you can land one of these Wild Bolt Storms. Kinda hope so. 0 for 3 on the day. It's looking lovely. It's looking real lovely. I actually could have boosted. I maybe should have boosted Enamorous' uh, stats. Special attack stats with Eerie Impulse. But I kind of want to double down attack in just in case Urshfu Terrasalize here. And there it is. So if we can land a Wild Bolt Storm and this thing changes to water, we can still KO. Oh no, you're steel! You, sir, are steel. That is wild. We might lose this one now. Now that because you're steel for some reason. Springtide Storm's gonna come through here. We are gonna get rid of the screen tail. And can you land a small bolt storm? Please and thank you, Mr. Guy. You did it! Any KOs, love you. Good thing we did double down at this point. So wow, four genies. We kinda were just messing around this match. And we did it. 3-0. Oh. Quadruple genie team. Thriving, thriving in today's video. Come on. If you guys watched this far, make sure you leave a like on today's video. If you're not subscribed yet, click that big red subscribe button. And more importantly, if you guys want to support me a little bit extra, consider becoming a member. Should be a join button next to the subscribe button. It's not there. There's a link down in the description below. Huge shout out to all my members. I love you guys. But from here, I'm just going to go into Draining Kiss and Wobble Storm. 
And yeah, should win this one. Yep, battle was canceled. 3-0, perfect record with this quadruple genie team. There's only one thing better than one genie. Four genies. That's exactly what we did today. Was not expecting to do this good, but hey, I'll take it. 3-0. I was expecting maybe a 1-2 and two day, 2-1 two and two and one day, but not a perfect record. But this team absolutely slapped up. You got Lando, Tornadas, Thunders, and Enamorous doing a lot of the heavy lifting. Reggie Draco was caught up in some of the battles, and Grimmsnarl was there for a little bit of the time. But guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to leave a like on it. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, get on top of that. Click that big red subscribe button. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread this positive day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.